Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. We are going to be getting ready today because what better way than to spill the tea and do your makeup. We need to go ahead and do our skincare before anything because you guys already know prepping your skin before you do your makeup is the biggest thing. We're going to put some deodorant because girl, let me tell you, when I get ready, I'd be sweating and it's really not a good look. I'm actually using the Native Deodorant, which is one of my favorite deodorants right now. I've literally been obsessed, especially because it's the Cucumber and Mint scent, which is one of my favorite scents that they carry. I was honestly already obsessing over the deodorant, so I went ahead and got the body wash in the same scent, Cucumber and Mint, and got the deodorant and body spray as well in the same scent. Before we go on to this video, I do want to give a huge thank you to Native for sponsoring today's video. With Native bestsellers pack you can honestly enjoy every part of your shower routine with their body wash deodorant and deodorant and body spray plus their products are super clean simple and effective and it'll keep you smelling fresh throughout the entire day native actually has a huge range of scents to please anybody from the subtle sweetness of vanilla to the beachiness of coconut or the calming salty breeze with sea salt and cedar or if you like something sweeter you can enjoy the fruity sweetness of peach and nectar honestly whatever combination you can think of they probably have it with limited edition scents launching all the time now let's talk about my favorite product which is the classic deodorant it provides up to 72 hours of odor protection so you can smell fresh throughout the entire day plus it's aluminum free and paraben free and made with clean and simple ingredients like coconut oil shea butter and my favorite thing is that it's not sticky and feels dry while applying also you guys do know that i go to the gym throughout the week so the Navidad's body wash comes in handy after the gym just because I need to take a good shower to get rid of that smell and that sweat. Native's body wash is made with clean, effective, and simple ingredients. Plus, it's fatty and dye-free and vegan and cruelty-free as well. This body wash is designed to cleanse your skin really gently. It leaves your skin feeling super soft and super hydrated, which I love. Plus, it's residue-free, so once you step out the shower, your skin's already soft, you're feeling really good, and smelling super good. And last but not least, the Native's deodorant and body spray. I love how it applies light as air, providing instant body odor protection. Trust me, you're gonna love how it dries up on contact, leaving you smelling super good. And you smell so fresh throughout the day, guys. It's really insane. Get your best sellers pack today. It is actually normally $36. But if you use my link, which is down below, and my code, which I'm gonna put right here, you can get your deodorant, body wash, and deodorant and body spray for only $24. That's literally 33% off. So I would honestly take advantage of that right now and go get your best sellers pack today. And once again, thank you so much to Native for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back into the get ready with me. So besties, let's get ready because I want to feel cute. I feel like the boyfriend air is kind of hitting. And for all my girls that are in a relationship, then you know the boyfriend air gets a little serious sometimes and you just don't feel like getting ready or like doing anything for yourself because you already have your man so you're like why do i need to like impress anybody like it doesn't really matter but it matters because or at least personally for me this is my job filming me getting ready me doing my makeup me feeling good me looking cute and don't get me wrong i honestly feel super good without my makeup like i love it but bitch where's the content with that like you know what i mean so to make this get ready with me a little less boring i actually asked you guys to give me some questions because i know you guys are nosy af um just want to know everything and i mean hey girl i'm a chismosa too so why not just fill you guys in on what's been going on where's the tea where's the drama all that jazz Okay, we're going to get a little deep with it to start off because what better way than to just dive right in, am I right? One of my girlies asked, now that I've started gaining more attention on social media, has the fame, I wouldn't consider it fame by the way, but that's what it says, has the fame affected your mental health? By the way, I love your videos and I watch them when I get ready. <laughs> Thank you girl, I love you too, I appreciate you so much. And, um... In a way, yeah, obviously, I feel like anyone that's on social media knows that this shit does mess with your head. I won't lie. Like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, my God, no, like, I'm a strong ass girl. Like, I don't I don't pay attention to nothing. In a way, it's true. Like, trust me, I really do try my hardest to 
ignore the bad things that come with social media but when you wake up and see like constant mean messages or like rude um comments and stuff it's really hard not to let it get to you sorry besties my friend had actually called me and i got a little distracted but i'm back next question is how are you still trusting men after all the shit they put you through i mean that in the nicest way because i just can't no more i feel like all of my girls be asking me that on my tiktok when i'm like posting cute little videos of me excuse me young lady when i post like videos of me and my boyfriend and stuff like that people are like oh my god like how are you trusting him like da, 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 da. first off i want you guys to remember that just because your ex cheated on you doesn't mean that your new man is gonna do the same thing not every guy's the same i know it may seem like it because bro you could really be giving your all to someone and then boom they just mess up which honestly to this day is my biggest fear don't get me wrong like i love my boyfriend and i really do trust him but sometimes in the back of my mind i'm like wow like you really never know but if i'm being honest like i just genuinely have to tell myself you know what like he's not like the others or maybe he is but for the meantime right now bitch let's just enjoy it while it is but obviously it does take time like you're not just gonna get out of this relationship and then boom jump into like another one without having like any trust issues whatsoever because girl trust me it takes a while like a while like imagine the moms that are married and shit and have all kids and then like their husbands like have a whole f affair or whatever you call that shit like oh my god i don't know how they recover from that like you were to think oh my god it's impossible to recover from that but these moms be bossing up and doing their greatest after that you know like it's just crazy to think so yeah girl if we're going through that breakup just got cheated on keep questioning every man that comes into your life trust me it's gonna get better a man will come and prove to you that he is worth trusting and worth doing all the good things for. But for the meantime, focus on yourself. Don't go rushing to find someone. Honestly, it'll come to you when you least expect it. And I really do stand on that because, guys, me and my boyfriend met in the most craziest but randomest way ever. Like, I did not expect that whatsoever. I'll be giving you guys a story time on that soon with, like, more details. I don't know. I feel like that just goes to show, like... Honestly, the best things are the most unexpected. What helped you boost your self-confidence after a toxic relationship? Because honestly, I get a lot of comments on how I'm very confident. I have a lot of confidence. And I feel like some girls really do mean it in a nice way. But sometimes people mean it very like backhanded. But we're just going to take this as a nice compliment. I hope you guys know when a man cheats on you, it really is not your fault. Um, you should not let that shit bring down your self-esteem and i know it will in the beginning it always will because you're like questioning you're like why would he do that why me what don't i have that she has like why did he choose her instead of me and trust me like it is the worst feeling putting yourself in that position well honestly you don't even put yourself in that position they're the ones who do that to you and obviously make you think that but you're gonna come to terms eventually where you're like it's not my fault like, that's his fault. Those are his insecurities. He's the one that's craving other bitches because he really just can't handle what I have. And that's totally fine. Like, if he can't handle you, girl, period, on to the next. Like, what else is there to say? And I'm very big on life is too short to be stuck on something that's really not worth it. Because, bitch, when I tell you, life is too short. Like, dude, don't be stuck on that shit. I kid you not. Life gets so much better when you let go. And surround yourself with people who are actually good for you people who are actually like genuine and really want to see you do good because why the f are you gonna spend so many months years or whatever on someone who is just not worth it just why just because you like the way they make you feel just because you want to call them yours just because you don't want nobody else to have them like that's selfish do better for yourself like why do that why keep hurting yourself like it's best to just let go hurt for a little bit and eventually get over it than to stay there forever and ever and not do nothing about it like you should know better and i don't want to sound like i'm coming off as rude but us as young girls like once you go through it you really just don't want to see no one else go through it and trust me like i hate hearing about my girls on tiktok or my girls on youtube or anyone that messages me letting me know like all their heartbreak stories and all that and i'm just like bro like you deserve so much better like get up like 
I wish I could go back and tell myself that, like, get the fuck up. You wasted so much time and it's so sad to look back at. But in a way, I'm glad that I was able to learn, even if it took so long. I learned a lot. Craziest thing you've done, drunk. Oh my gosh, guys. I wanted to do a story time on this when it happened, but I was honestly so embarrassed. Like, so embarrassed. It was actually the night that me and my boyfriend, like, met. Or we didn't meet that night, but how do I say it? Like, we started talking ever since that night. Because we've had already known each other since we were in middle school. So, yeah, guys, we live in the same city, same town, whatever. Like, we've known each other for years. But we've never had anything. Like, we've always just been really good friends. But there was this one night. We were both at a function. And we just uh, were off the bus balls. You know, chilling. Doing what we got to do with our friends. Because, fun fact, we kind of share the same friend group. Like, my cousins are his homies. Anyways, that was that. And a lot of stuff happened that night. And it just led us to start talking. And we ended up talking but then i ended up like blacking out dude like i was so faded so kara had to like take me home because it was already like nighttime and we were not gonna stay at the place where we were at because kiara and her boyfriend were gonna stay there because they're the ones who got like the hotel for like them um so then what's it called whatever kara ended up taking me home at the same time where she was taking him home and then i was like so faded i was like oh my god like bring him to my house like take him with me da -da 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 -da. And then, obviously, Kara was like, dude, like, shut the fuck up. Like, you're drunk. Like, stop talking. Like, you don't know what you're saying. Like, no, I'm going to take both of you guys like to your guys' separate house. Like, you guys are not going home together. There's this and that. And I appreciate her for doing that, though, because, obviously, I was, like, hella faded. So, like, I would have never, like, been able to do that. But the night ended up coming. She dropped me off home. And then she ended up taking him to his house. And somehow it was already, I think, like, 4 a.m., he ended up coming to my house because I kept calling and calling. I was like, bro, can't da, 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 da. It was, it was, it was a crazy night. But yeah, ever since that night, we stopped going out separately. We'll go out together, but we do not be going to functions and none of that unless we're like together because, girl, it was, it was a little insane in the membrane. But yeah, that's a story to tell. There's a lot to it, but just know it was crazy. What's something that you regret not doing? Like, I regret my senior year not being involved in stuff. Like, it sucks because I didn't have friends to do anything, like, anything with. But I'm kind of sad. Like, I didn't go to the Hawaii trip. I didn't go to grad night to the Disney trip. Like, I didn't do none of that. And I'm so sad just because, I don't know, like... I'm never going to do that anymore. I'm not going back to school anymore. Well, unless I go to fucking college. But even then, like, dude, it's not high school. It's so crazy. But you know what? Everything happens for a reason. So I'm not going to be sad about it because it is what it is. And maybe it just wasn't my time. Or maybe it just wasn't for me. Or I don't know. But I was a little sad. How did you manage to become so successful with YouTube? But I love questions that like regard like giving tips or like advice on social media just because I just like love helping other people. I think it's so beautiful and I love how other people really want to get into this because it's like so cool. It's a really good job. Even though it's fucking annoying sometimes, don't get me wrong. But honestly, I feel like I've been on YouTube for so long to the point where I don't know like I know I'm successful but I could be way more successful so I always like tell myself this is not enough like you need to do better like I don't like getting too comfortable where I'm at just because I know that I have so much more level for improvement and for growth and if I'm being real like this is really super small for me still like yeah I love how I accomplish so many things I have so many more milestones to get to but I just want to do better bigger and better if I'm being honest one thing that I do love so, so much is how active all my girls are. Like, there's a lot of people, I won't lie, that have, like, millions of followers, millions of subscribers, but their interaction is super low. Like, I'm talking about 10K views, 10K likes, 
and stuff like that and i'm not here to compare i'm not here to be like oh like they have this but they don't have that no it's just really crazy because i feel like the amount of followers or subscribers that you have doesn't really matter i feel like it's more about like the views the comments like people who really interact and not just oh here i follow but i'm not gonna interact i don't even watch you know what i mean but i really do love how all my girls are super active with me like they keep up with what i post they like this they repost this and it's just like i don't know I feel like my girls are like that because I interact with everyone. I try my best to respond to people's comments or like people's comments or message people back or like anything like that. I like to let my girls know that I see you guys. I hear you guys. And I feel like that's why people fuck with me so heavy because I'm just really myself. I love welcoming everybody. Like, bitch, if you're on here, welcome. Like, if you're new here, hello. We love you guys. Like, this is a safe place for everybody, honestly. But honestly, I feel like everyone says this, but I really do think it's important. If you want to be growing more on social media, why not, like, I guess, pop off on social media, do your Dougie, do whatever. Dude, be yourself. Like, be yourself. Like, you really can't fake it. You really can't fucking fake it. So, bitch, if you're really not genuine with your supporters, you're not genuine with yourself, you're not real, like... It's just not going to be a good look at the end of the day. That's why you have to keep it real from the jump, bitch. Regardless of how many people are watching you. Regardless of how much fucking fame or whatever you have. Keep being yourself. Because that's why people started fucking with you in the first place. And I've always been that way. I've always told myself, regardless of where this takes me. Regardless of the places that I go. Regardless of the amount of money that I get. I always want to keep being myself. Because that is exactly why I am where I'm at right now because of who i am because of my personality because of the way that i love people because of the way that i show up for people the way that i'm there like which it's just really amazing some things you learn from high school friends regrets etc i love you i love you too and oh my gosh dude high school taught me so much like i see a lot of girls that i uh, follow that are still like in high school that have barely entered um here from my city like girls that i personally know and i'd be seeing like them crying over these guys them taking high school too serious and i like just want to tell you guys it is not that serious like i promise you whatever you're doing right now in high school all the shit that you think is gonna matter and stuff like that it really isn't at all and i mean like relationship wise friendship wise like if this girl did you dirty i kid you not in a few years you guys are not even gonna be friends you guys are not gonna talk like it's just really not worth it like trust me don't be stressing over shit that eventually is not gonna matter like bitch i promise you focus more on your grades so you can get into a good school and make your parents happy rather than focusing on that bum ass dude or that dumb ass friend that you have that's fake as fuck that's trying to fuck on your man like i wish i could go back and tell myself bitch it's really not worth it those people are not gonna be in your lives in a few months like just let it be because it's just it's pointless i kid you guys not so pointless like they're not gonna matter in a few months and I don't know if that's messed up of me to say because I feel like another reason why in high school I didn't have that many friends is because I always told myself, okay, well, if they do something by cutting them off, I'll leave because I don't care. They're not my family. Why am I going to keep them in my life? Because it's true. If you mess up and you're doing me dirty, why am I going to want to keep you in my life? You know what I mean? If you're not my family, bitch, kick rocks, truly. And low I feel like that's a really bad habit that i have where i just cut people off because i just don't care anymore because i'm like okay well you did this to me so why should i care bye it's because i don't know i just really don't have time for the bullshit like why am i gonna be by your side if you're just gonna keep hurting me like you're a shitty human being i don't want to be near you bitch like what you're mean and ugly like that's so rude where do you find all your motivation from oh my goodness i feel like i struggle with this so much like you guys may see me always posting see me doing this see me doing that but guys it is hard like i won't lie this shit is not picture perfect it may seem like it but even then bro like it is so hard sometimes to even just wake up like sometimes i'm so confused i don't have the motivation i don't want to do this i don't even want to post i don't even want to get ready i don't want to go to the gym and it's so annoying because i have such a beautiful life i have beautiful people around me i'm surrounded with the most loving 
and most perfect family i have the most caring and loving boyfriend ever like anyone around me is just really beautiful amazing inside and out right and i love it but i think it's just something within me where i'm just like oh like i'm so drained and it's not even what's around me it's just my head it's in my mind and that's one thing that's so fucking crazy guys like our mind is so powerful and i hope you guys know that like dude you can really tell yourself okay tomorrow morning i'm gonna wake up and even if i don't want to wake up i'm gonna wake up because i have to wake up and i want to get this done if you have that fucking mindset bitch you're gonna get up regardless but if the morning comes your alarm goes off and you're like um i don't know once you're already doubting bitch you're just gonna stay in bed so you need to like snap the fuck out of it and get yourself up even if you don't want to get up like there's so many times where i don't want to do shit bro like today i did not want to film at all i was like Ugh. but i've been really inconsistent with youtube so i'm like bitch like who else is gonna do it for you but yourself always remind yourself that who's gonna do it for you but yourself no one where do you make the most money from i feel like now it's still youtube but also my sponsorships that my manager gets me uh tiktok as well but i feel like tiktok is kind of like a side thing like trust me tiktok does not make me as much money as youtube and my sponsors do but i'm still super blessed to be receiving anything girl like trust me from the bottom of my heart i appreciate it what's one of your goals this year honestly i feel like this year is already almost over so i would consider it kind of this year or the beginning of next year but i really want to drop my merch already like i really want to get into that i for sure want to do like a meet and greet or something near my city or like town where i'm from because i feel like i get so much love for my girls here or for the most part <laughs> but yeah i really want to be able to do that like it would be a dream come true to finally do that and all that and i want to give back a lot for my girlies what does your man think about you and wilito everyone always asks me this question and guys i really wish you guys knew like me and Wilito have never been in nothing more than friends and I know like on social media it may seem like oh my god like they get together or like oh my god they're flirting oh my god this and that but like off cameras it has never been more than just a friendship and I hope you guys understand that like social media is our job like trolling you guys is our job because it catches everyone's attention and i know sometimes it may not be the best thing because then there's a lot of hate that comes with it you would do it too for a check now i do respect my boyfriend a lot and i literally love and care for him so much and i feel like i don't have to prove it to nobody else but him obviously but i think he knows what type of girl he's with and honestly i wouldn't be wasting all this time and effort on my boyfriend if i didn't love him you know what i mean um he knows i respect him he knows that this is my job but obviously there is boundaries and there is limits i am fucking growing up and learning as i go so yeah girl like we're just moving forward from this point and on was it hard to keep doing videos even when they didn't blow up oh my gosh yes sometimes i would be like dude like why are my videos doing good why aren't the views up but then there was those like certain people who would still comment still watch still like and that just made me feel so much better about myself i'm like bitch honestly it's not about the views like people regardless will keep fucking with you because of you because of the stuff you post and even if this video doesn't blow up it's okay because there's this certain amount of people who are still gonna watch it and be super happy that you posted you know what i mean not every video is gonna be a banger not every video is gonna blow up not every video is gonna make you so much money and that's okay that's a part of social media that's a part of doing this like not every day is perfect when coming up did you get hate from friends or people you know like envidiosas so this question is really funny to me because um i feel like when i started social media i wasn't really taken as seriously like i feel like people thought like oh like this little ass girl like you know like ridicula whatever and it's so crazy to think like how far this shit has gotten me and now the girls that used to think like that this shit was like funny or cringe and stuff literally dm me babe can you repost this like can you repost this um could you help my business like bitch no que muy fucking funny no que muy 
embarrassing y que no sé qué. Anyways, honestly, try not to look at it in a bad way. I just tell myself, like, look at all the people that I proved wrong. Like, look at the shit that I'm doing. It's, it's just a really good feeling knowing that you're doing amazing and knowing that you proved so many people wrong. Come in. Oh, uh, ahorita got him. Sorry, I'm filming. Do you feel like you've changed as a partner now that you're in a new relationship? Yes, dude. It is so fucking crazy, guys. Like, I don't want to sound exagerada, but when you really like somebody, you will change your ways for them. Like, I don't care what no one says. I believe that people do change for the right person. Because if I'm going to be real, like... I don't think I've ever taken anybody as serious as I'm taking my boyfriend now. And I don't even want to get into my past and be like, oh my God, like she's still stuck on her past. No, it's really none of that, but it's just so crazy to see my growth. But I think a big thing that has to do with that is the type of guy that I'm with because I'm very secure in my relationship. I know that I'm the fucking prize, bitch. Like as cocky as that sounds, like... My boyfriend is blessed enough to have a great woman like me in his life. And I'm super blessed to have an amazing man like him in my life. And my boyfriend has never given me any reasons to think, Oh my God, is he cheating on me? Oh my God, is he doing this? Is he doing that? Never. Ever since we met, he has never, and I repeat, ever given me any reasons to overthink. I feel like if anything, it's just my dumbass overthinking because of my own insecurities in the beginning. Um... Because honestly, when we first got together, it was kind of like very iffy. Like it was random, but there was just like a lot going on that led us to get together to the point where it just made me question a lot of things. But I mean, at the end of the day, we got through that rough patch or whatever. And since day one, he always proved to me, he was like, it's just you and it's only you. Like, I really hope you know that. And I don't know. I feel like when a guy really shows that he's just fucking with you, bitch believe him if he's not giving you obviously other reasons to believe otherwise so yeah i honestly took the risk and i was like you know what bro okay i'm gonna believe you like if you're saying you're only fucking with me you're only fucking with me and thankfully like he's just been such a great guy and it's been really amazing and i feel like that's why i am the way that i am meaning i'm very loyal i'm very loving i'm doing so good and i'm such a good person to him and to myself because he's such a good person to me and to himself and to the people around him and i honestly love that because a man could be good to you right like he could be super loving to you but what if he's fake as fuck to his friends what if he's fake as fuck to his family what if he's an asshole like you know what i mean i don't just want my man to be good to me i want him to be good to everyone around him because that's a good man i really dislike when i see girls posting about stuff like oh my god i hate a friendly ass man like i want my man mean disrespectful to everybody but me da -da 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 -da. girl respectfully i want my man respectful to me and to everyone around him because a respectful man is so attractive and so fucking important anyways yeah i think my boyfriend has honestly just taught me how to grow so much as a person and there's just a lot of things that he's taught me and we've barely started dating and we've been talking for a few months but yeah babe there's room for change don't ever forget that if you used to be a little thotty trust me girl you could change you got this believe in yourself i, I believe in you because i would have never thought i was gonna take another man serious ever in my life again and look at me and you know how I know that I love this man? Because I would never want to feel like I'm hurting him. I never want to feel like I'm embarrassing him. I never want him to feel like he's in competition with anybody else. Like, it's just my man, my man, my man. How did you clear your skin, by the way? You're so pretty. Oh my god, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I love when people call me pretty, especially when it, com when it comes from a pretty girl. <sighs> It just makes it feel more prettier. Thank you so much. I feel like that's a big other question that I've been getting. My skin, my skin, my skin. What's the skincare put me on? Guys, I really just don't do anything no more. Like, I know I'm going to have a lot of, like, skin freaks on here. Like, ah, what do you mean? What do you mean? I kid you not. I stopped going to get hella fucking facials. I stopped wasting so much money on facials. 
and i just started doing what i think works best for me and it's been such a good journey with my skin and i really really love it now i will say everybody's skin is really different what works for me may not work for you and that's totally fine you can honestly just find what works best for you but personally i stopped using so many skincare products on my face um meaning all the serums all the face masks all this all that getting these fucking monthly facials that are like 400 500 dollars like don't get me wrong if you guys go get facials like okay i love that but for me dude that shit just was not making my skin any better and i honestly love my esthetician who used to do my facials like all love to her her work is amazing but it just really was not for me yeah i just used three products and that's about it literally just a cleanser spf and moisturizer and that's it girl but don't get me wrong like here and there i will go get a facial if i want to but i'm really not up for going all the time for a facial just because it just did not work for me took my own route did what i think was best and it's been amazing ever since girl what would you tell those girls who struggle with their parents talking down on them it makes me so sad when i hear that my girls are going through stuff at home with their own parents because i always ask myself like how can a mom live with herself knowing that she is such a shitty mom to her kids like i don't know maybe because i just grew up with such an amazing mom and i love her so much and i thank god so much for blessing me with her but my mom has never put me in a position where i'm like she hates me she doesn't love me i mean yeah don't get me wrong we've had our disagreements like we're not perfect our relationship has never been perfect even now like we have our differences here and there but i just don't understand how moms could be so cruel and so evil to their kids but i'm here to tell you like try your hardest try your hardest to talk to your parents to your mom to your dad to whoever is there like just try your hardest and if they don't want to then i'm sorry babe but it really isn't your fault you need to understand that sometimes it's just their own insecurities it's their own trauma that is catching up to them and they just rather not but i can't really speak on it because i've never gone through this guys i've never gone through like a point like that and obviously for me it's easy to be like well your parents love you at the end of the day it's family but honestly for some people it's not like that you know some people's parents are so fucking evil and are assholes you know what i mean so i can't really talk and i can't really say much because i just don't know you guys like that but i will say it does get better learn to love yourself learn to be okay with yourself even if it hurts that it's your own family hurting you sometimes babe god puts you through that and puts you in that position for a reason maybe it's just not your place to be with them anymore maybe you just need to learn from that and eventually when you get your own family you're gonna learn how to love your own kids your own way and learn from all your trauma but i hope you guys know that you guys are loved and i do hear you guys out i really hope everything gets better at home i know so many people go through so much shit at home and it breaks my heart because I couldn't even imagine waking up in a house not feeling okay, not feeling safe. Like, dude, my heart goes out to all those people that have to go through that. Like, bitch, I wish you guys could all move in here with me into my small ass room. Why did you stop posting your boyfriend? So, uh, fun fact, I finally started posting my man. We've been talking for a while before I even posted him, so just want you guys to know that but i kept it a little secret for a while just because i know how social media was or how it is and bitch as soon as i posted him everyone showed me exactly why i didn't post him in the first place because it just got super crazy there was a lot of people even cheese my channels like thinking they're funny just posting stuff and putting stuff over the videos to make it seem like something so fucking dramatic when in reality like it's not dramatic like i just have a boyfriend now like why is that such a big deal like wow angie b has a boyfriend hey anyways don't get me wrong like i'll post my men here and there like pictures here and there but for now like i'm just keeping it chill we're really like at peace with ourselves and our relationship and i want to keep it that way i don't want to let social media ruin something so beautiful because this relationship means a lot to me um it came when i least expected it but in a way like this motherfucker came to save me because i was just dealing with some dumbass shit and he just literally showed me 
that I need to stop dealing with that and move the right direction rather than staying in the same place because I was not progressing whatsoever and with him it just feels so beautiful I could get my shit done I could do what I want to do knowing that my man supports me knowing that he's always gonna be there for me and it's just so beautiful it's just so fucking beautiful I'm sorry that I keep talking about it but it's just all the questions are literally about my boyfriend hopefully eventually we'll be able to do a video so we could talk to you guys together how do you deal with haters simple and easy i block everybody that's mean to me anybody that says anything weird block i don't care where a bitch gave me a backhanded compliment blocking you because why am i gonna have negative energy on my my account like bitch it's my world you're just living in it so get the fuck out of here because i'm not gonna put up with that respectfully and a lot of people get butthurt. Like, I'll go on TikTok Live and they're like, why do you block me? You block me for no reason. You block for no reason. I don't care. You're mean for no reason. So leave me alone. Like, oh my gosh, I hate people who are mean to strangers on the internet. Like, it really makes me wonder, like, why? Like, what do they have going on within themselves that makes them think it's okay to do that? Like, I genuinely want to know, like, how all these hating ass bitches look like behind cameras. Because I kid you not, it's always a fake account being mean to me all the time like bitch come correct come in your regular account let's see how you look all one that probably like what rude ass for no reason you don't even know me how is it like traveling at a young age must be nice honestly this life that i've been living recently has been a dream come true and i don't even want to sound like exaggerating but like dude it is honestly so fucking beautiful that i'm able to go so many places even just go to one place like going to LA is so beautiful to me because I literally go there to work like I go there and I make money while I'm doing what I love and it's so fucking amazing like who would have ever thought that I was going to be in this position but yeah I'm honestly super super grateful and honestly this wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for you guys of course like you guys have changed my life in such a crazy way but in a good way like don't get me wrong i love the life that i live and honestly can't wait to grow so much more like you guys have brought so many good things to me and although a veces las cosas pasan and shit gets a little hectic it gets a little stressful i was trying to look at it in a good way and i'm like you know what babe like this is what you wanted this is the life that you live it's gonna come with ups and downs but at the end of the day you know you're blessed at the end of the day you know you're loved and god is always 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 gonna protect me and always gonna help me get through whatever i'm going through so yeah it's, it's so beautiful i love it here biggest pet peeve in a friendship i hate a bitch who's a low-key hater like oh my gosh you could come with some good ass news like oh my god sis guess what da -da -da -da. and she looks at it in a bad way and points out like the bad things or tries to look at it in a negative way and i'm just like what the fuck like what is up your ass like be happy for me or at least like fake it till you make it and another thing is a girl that just tries to one up you like you could be doing really good you know everyone is moving at their own pace and then she's like oh yeah but i did this first or oh yeah you got this for me or oh yeah i put you on like bitch we're friends of course we're gonna like the same things we're gonna talk the same way we're gonna do things similarly because we're friends and we're always around each other like what else and i won't lie before i would be very like oh my god like this girl's copying me like what the fuck this is and that and i would kind of get bothered when i would see people copy me because it was just kind of weird to me right but i saw this tiktok the other day and it was honestly like you shouldn't even take the copying in a bad way like you should take that as a compliment and be like wow like these girls really do love the way that i do these things so they want to do it as well and it's nothing bad you know what i mean like if anything you should be really proud of yourself that you're putting these people on but honestly i could go on and on with pet peeves and friendships but i'm just gonna cut it short what has being on social media taught you i love this journey you're on girly thank you so much i love it too like I, I love the position that i'm in but for sure it has taught me a lot of patience to have a lot of patience within myself and with other people too i feel like growing up i was always the type to get mad super easily or get very annoyed at things when i wouldn't get things my way but when it comes to social media not everything is gonna go your way there's gonna be times where shit gets tough 
where you're not gonna get what you want and that's totally fine because that's a part of life like you know what i mean you win some you lose some you go through it in order to get through it and that's just the way that life is um and i feel like i used to be very close-minded and i mean i understand because i was very young and even now i'm still super young i'm barely 18 um but i just honestly feel like i've grown so much mentally and i just love where i'm at right now and i honestly can't wait to grow more because i know there's a lot of room for growth and improvement in myself so yeah i'm honestly super excited to just be experiencing everything again and again and again and again because the growth never stops regardless of how old you are girl we're gonna keep learning and growing so besties that is it for today's video i am finally ready makeup is slayed and laid i feel really good about myself my skin feels good my hair looks healthy my makeup looks bomb i mean what else can we ask for anyways i love you guys and i appreciate you guys so much thank you guys for sitting through this entire video i know it's pretty long but i appreciate you guys see y'all next time